Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are working on my Witchy Hut 2020 prompt list that I started in October. And we're going to go over a few of the sketches that I skipped, mostly because I wasn't happy with them, so I redrew them. And then we're going to move on to a new prompt that I have not finished. I'm going to start it from sketching all the way until inking, and you can see the complete process. I'm using this sketchbook that I got from Muji, which is a Japanese supply store. The size of this sketchbook is about five and a half by three and a half inches. And the quality of the paper is really nice. It is a little thin, so you can see some of the sketches from underneath. So I just slide a piece of paper underneath the page while I work on it. I'm gonna be using a normal mechanical pencil and I will be using this really nice ink pen. It uh, is a really fast flowing ink pen that I got from uh, that I got from Thinka, which is another Japanese supply store here in the Lower Mainland. This is a 0.5 size and it gives me really nice even thick lines. And then I'll be using this Pigma Micron in a one size. There we go. I will also be using this eraser from a series we no longer recognize has an author. And I'm just going to show you the inside paper here. It is a really nice cream color and uh, it requires a little bit of filter when I go to upload the finished pieces to Instagram. Let's get started. I'm starting with the prompt I first skipped, which was for day seven, and it is the cat. I skipped it mostly because I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do. So here I am making, uh, instead of like a bottle, it's more of like an urn style Egyptian cat. I have a couple of cat styled statues at home that are Egyptian. So I based it off of this. Next is day 16, which is the crow. Another one I skipped because I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do. So here you'll see I decided to go with a crow styled bottle and in theory, the head of the crow pops off so you can get access to the potion underneath. I know, it sounds morbid. Here is day 20 with the prompt of eyes. I wanted it to be really creepy. So I'm just inking in this sketch I did previously. And I really wanted to get in there and do the veins and have it feel like they're just floating in this vat of liquid and watching you.
I came back over to the cat statue because I realized I hadn't really put any shading on it. So I just penciled it in first before I ink it in. And I will probably have to go over this piece again um, just because I don't quite like the, the way the legs look. And here I am erasing. Thankfully I did not wreck this page when I erased it. And I'm just going in and adding more shading and more little details to make it look marked up or like there's texture on the wings and feathers. This is one I previously inked and then I go and erase it and squish the paper and I'm so mad at myself because I hate it when I do this. So you can see me trying really hard not to do this on the eyes and I'm going over with some little tiny details like the veins on the eyeballs. some light shading to give it more depth, adding texture to the wax. And then drawing in the irises. Can see the original cauldron sketch I did just to kind of get a feel of how I wanted a cauldron to look and then you can see I started with a full sketch. I wanted this cauldron to look like it was an actual cauldron that was just filled with a potion that was continuously bubbling. I like to include a label of some kind on the image or like a tag of some kind so that I don't have to look back on the prompt and try and figure out what prompt it was. But also I like to think that all of these little potions you see come from a really cute little witchy shop but she has them displayed for all of her customers. You can see me be very careful with erasing because I did not want to crinkle the paper again. And here we are with the final walkthrough of the sketchbook. You can see the prompt list here. You can find it under the hashtag TheWitchyHut2020. And if you are looking specifically for my prompts, you can find them on Instagram under the hashtag WitchyBottleChallenge. A lot of these I'm really proud of. I feel like I pushed myself 
to really try my best on a lot of these sketches and even though the Witchy Hut 2020 prompt list already had a theme of everything being very witchy, I wanted everything to feel cohesive so I did try to make everything into a bottle or some kind of urn. hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I can't wait to show you some more. Until next time.